There's so many things we know about Counter-Strike, and so much more we don't know. Who made it? How did it become what it is? Can we even comprehend what Counter-Strike actually is? Maybe we aren't ready for this yet. Alright, alright, this is way too melodramatic. Look, I just want to talk about some things in this game that I never knew about, and probably neither did you. What are these things? More trivia? Maps? Facts? Well, it's kind of a mixed bag. But what they have in common is that I've never heard anybody talk about them before and are hardly mentioned anywhere. So sit back and relax because there's a lot of cool stuff to cover that might blow your mind. So how did you learn to play Counter-Strike? Most likely by launching a game and dying a bunch of times, either in a server or against bots, basically the hard way. But did you know there was a training map that goes over all the basics in how the game functions? Welcome, operative, to the Counter-Terrorist Training Center. You have been chosen for specialist training in the use of terrorism tactics and equipment. Please enter through the security door to begin. I believe this was at the request of Valve since Half-Life had a training map to help newcomers. It's pretty extensive training, almost like a legit military training, complete with voiceover and covers almost every single gameplay mechanic. Supposedly it was included in CS from 1.0 to 1.5, but only in the physical retail versions of the game. So if you're wondering why you never saw this, well, you either had the 1.6 version, got CS digitally, or you are a pirate. Please make your way to the base of the ladder and proceed to the next zone. NEXT! Ah yes, the iconic main menu splash art of CS. A single glimpse into it, and no matter who you are, you know what game this is. But has anyone ever asked who even are these people? Are they real militaries? Well, fortunately I have the answer. Gooseman Min Lee, the co-creator of Counter-Strike, was once asked, and his response was that these were his colleagues back at Valve, who were level designers and fans of CS. Dave Riller and John Guthrie are the ones cosplaying. Initially, it was only Dave with a DE Dust backdrop from CS 1.0 through 1.5, but it was updated to this in 1.6. I'd also wager their weapons are props too, so finally we know their identity. Regular Valve employees and not real soldiers, of whom Dave still works at Valve. Nonetheless, knowing this doesn't detract from the beauty of the menu screen, still very iconic for CS. Okay, I got three words. Random texture tiling. This is a feature in the Gold Source engine to enable certain textures to change after loading a level or a map. Instead of using the same one, the game chooses one of few. It can be seen in a few places in Half-Life, but it was also utilized very scarcely in CS. The only map that uses this feature that I know of is Dust 2, so kind of mind-blowing in a way. Every time you load this map, the textures, although not that noticeable, are different. And honestly, if it wasn't for Morphidimus Blackimus, I wouldn't have known about this, so big props to the man. Look, I know you really don't like seeing me use the left-handed view model, I've noticed the comments, but I'm left-handed in real life! When I started playing CS, it felt way more natural to me, but do you know who is also left-handed? Gooseman Min Lee? And why am I even mentioning all of this? Well, you see, I'm not a firearms expert, so sorry if I mess up certain things, but apparently, the way we see them in first person is always from their right side. For example, this is the Ops bolt handle, I think, which is always on the right side, so when the view model is right-handed, it's mirrored. So that technically means I'm playing the correct way, and most of you playing right-handed are WRONG! And you can blame that one on Gooseman for being left-handed. They are correct in CSGO, but in that case it makes me wrong for playing left-handed there, unfortunately. Dropped weapons also only show the right side, and here's an extra fun tidbit. You see how the M4 looks on the ground? You notice how this top part where the handle is doesn't really look like a handle? Yep, that's because the M4 had a scope during the beta, and the dropped weapon model was never changed to a handle. Crazy. Additionally, reload and weapon cocking animations are mostly wrong, but we don't have time to list and show all of them today. 
Have you ever thought to yourself, why is it that when you shoot at an enemy it feels like you're dealing damage but actually you did not hit them at all? Well, besides the game being broken, which is what people always blame in typical fashion, specifically in the original CS, you might think you hit an enemy because of the sound cue, but you didn't. I don't entirely understand this either, but the simple explanation is that shooting close to the player hitbox, the sound will be different as if you're dealing damage, but you aren't. Listen. I really try to understand why it does this, but to no avail. I'm also no Gold Source Engine expert, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Oh, and here's something frustrating, whenever a player is in this position, you know, uh, legs and torso not really facing the same direction, the hitbox becomes misaligned, which leads to this kind of funky stuff. Ugh. DID YOU KNOW?! You can do a matrix jump in CS. Well, it's more of an animation bug than anything. I personally thought it was an easter egg, but no. So to do it, you need to be a team with the bomb. Place the bomb on your quick switch, shoot your weapon at least once, start reloading it halfway through the reload, switch to the bomb, and jump almost at the exact same time. So why does this happen? I think the model animation doesn't know what to do when the player is switching from reloading weapon to holding C4 while jumping, so it defaults to T-posing, but it only affects the torso, so it looks like that one martial arts move from the Matrix. You can still do it in 1.6, it was never fixed, the setup is just a little bit specific. Hey, I got another trick for you. Launch CS, open console, and type in map, then whatever map you can name. That will load the map and you will immediately spawn empty-handed as a CT with no HUD. As if you are a spectator, but you're actually playing. Also, the pause menu only has a resume game, so the only way to get out of this is by disconnect in the console. There's no timer and dying will respawn you in the same way. I believe this bug is related to the training map since there it also immediately starts the game with you as a CT with no HUD, so it seems like a leftover bug that wasn't ever fixed. But if you start a game with bots or enter a server, the next time you launch a map through the console, it'll be like normal. Quite fascinating how elements of the training still exist. And that's about everything I could think of. There are miscellaneous things like icons that exist in the game but aren't used, and how the knife icon is based on the old knife model from the beta, little things that aren't really noteworthy, but that's about it. I got more digging around the internet to do, not for a video, but I really need to know, why is the cucumber made of so much water? Like, it's 96% water. How is that even a vegetable? Like, come on.